part one you saw is taking apart the steam locomotive and taking off the boiler. In this part here, we're going to take off the fusible plug, the bolt from hell. We're also going to take off the coil. This was quite an experience, but very humbling at the same time. We're going to get to work. Actually, Chris is going to get to work. I'm going to sit here by the pool, pretend like I'm working. All right, shop. It's pretty clean. It's all the parts. Here's the chassis. It's crazy. I feel like I'm going to have a panic attack. I'm like so excited, so nervous, but I'm in good hands. No skateboard. This next shot, Chris is using his boroscope. Along the way, found some critters in the boiler. Yeah, it looks like a. Beep. Gee, I don't know what that is. I feel like you're closer. Is it a snake? It looks like um, copper pipe. That rubber. Beep. You know, like the. Um... Yeah, dude. I don't. The beep is that, Chris? <laughs> well, I got a picture, so I probably take a picture. We got snakes in our boiler. Yeah, that's your back head. That's your firebox. Or your um, crown sheet. And let's see, look if I can go. There's your... <laughs> Big old snake in there. Yeah, that's a gasket, huh? Yeah, that's a silicone gasket. Where do you think that thing came from? The you know, maybe, maybe it was used to oh. help seal... Yeah. And maybe that was what finally just gave. Gave, and that's when, you're right, and that's when that wisping started. That makes sense. Yeah, because you yeah, it looks like the size for the diameter. Right. That's the probably dome. it, dude. It looks good in there. Great. Beep. Here's the first shots of the boiler off the chassis. You can see the manifold. You can see the back head. Oh, that's how they did our manifold. Yeah, for the... Yeah, because it... Okay, so just to have reference, here's the coil. There's the bolt. And we just did a bunch of drywalling. <laughs> <laughs> and here's half the, the firebox. Okay, so... Right now we're going to... Check out this dude. We're gonna try to get this bolt out of here. Try to get this the whole coil. Yeah, I wonder if we should. I should read the coil hasn't had any problem, but I no. don't. I no no. Didn't. Yeah. Beep. Dude, pig is apart. <laughs> Hot Chris, look at this shirt. In this shot, we're gonna take the coil off. Chris is gonna take the coil off. San Jose weather. Torch don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Great balls of fire. Great boilers on fire. <laughs> Damn, man. It's just amazing to see this thing apart like this. Light him up, Chris. We're taking this coil out. Woo <laughs> Hot coil, baby. Okay, give it a little crank crank. We're taking this coil off here. We're getting serious. This next shot, we're going to try to get the bolt from hell off. The bolt from hell. Chris has the breaker from hell. <laughs> Actually, we need the extension. All right. Beep. He man and Skeletor over here, Chris. We're going to get the Beep. out of here. Let's go. After using the breaker bar from hell, we finally wave the white flag and went across the street. To Super Dave, uh, Diesel Dave, 
Dave, and uh, I used the impact gun. It was time. Could it be a left? Could it be a yeah, left? It has to be. <laughs> it has to be right hand thread. Diesel dead. <laughs> How did you even do that? That's fucking cool. Damn. Nothing like power. Horsepower. Wow. Look at that. There's no way we would have gotten that out with oh, No, but would you have 400 even, pounds of even, torque on that thing? 300. Yeah, dude. Even with that, that, that puts out about 110. Oh, <laughs> dude. Wow. Thanks Dave. Thanks, Dave, man. That was the final piece. I was literally. Yeah. So here we're going to clean some parts uh, now that she's all all disassembled it's a um, good opportunity check this out excuse all the noise in the background there's a lot of action going on in the street there's a little plate on here I noticed it before but it was kind of buried in paint it has like it's pretty much like the test plate it has a let's see steam test water test and working pressure. And you're supposed to put little numbers in there in the blank spots. It's more or less cosmetic, but it's pretty cool. And I'm thinking I'm gonna clean it up, keep it um, the original brass finish, and then repaint the back head here and then put it back on. That was kind of cool find. So I've taken this opportunity to really clean the pig. I went ahead and scrubbed it down, a lot of the eccentrics, uh, the back of the wheels, the journal boxes, the axle, the axle was pretty dirty. Clean up the pistons a little bit. And the cylinder lubricator, she was looking pretty greasy. And here's where the reservoir is connected. It's actually connected to the sand dome, cosmetic sand dome. So instead of sand, obviously it's oil. And the pipe runs up here and on the top. So I have that capped off. You see the cross head looks a little better. I'm just trying to get some of this stuff in and around. She's been running pretty hard. Uh, pulled a lot of people last year and this year as well. So she gets a pounding. And then the hand pump. I went ahead and cleaned that up a little bit. And here it looks like there's some clay. I don't think I'm going to touch this. It's a pretty solid little chunk. You can see it kind of moving around here. I could replace it, but it's, it's doing its job. It's just greasy. And, you know, being a smoke box, uh, not the end of the world. So I had these pipes all covered up as well. I just exposed them to check out a few things so it all's looking pretty good I mean she's solid little frames and Estelle Maria Estelle's chassis pretty small little chassis actually thinking about ordering another one just to have for spare parts in this next shot I had a chance to clean up the firebox and boiler jackets After painting, I went ahead and cleaned up some of the water glass valves. You can see some scale, a little bit of deposit. 
I try not to put too much hard water in Butter Pig, although it's kind of hard at clubs because you're kind of subjected to using what they have. But I do use LSB and make sure to blow her down and clean out after every run. Thanks for tuning in to part two. And always keep steaming and working, Chris.